I'm Selena Gomez. And I'm Demi Lovato. And this is my best friend in the entire world. And this um, is my Selena. best friend. Because <laughs> we're kind of nerds. Yep. So. <laughs> we're nerds together. Yes. Together. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to Exposing SMG. Before we start today's video, I want you to picture a little scenario. I want you to imagine that you and your hometown gal are good friends. Both of you land a role on the same network, not once, but twice. In fact, you're besties, you're starring in a movie together, and you're slowly making your impact in Hollywood together. Then, bam, you're no longer friends. How did that happen? Was there a reason? Come on, there's always a reason. And today, we are going to discuss that reason. Make sure to watch until the complete end because things are going to start making so much sense you're going to scream from not connecting two and two before. First, let's start with Selena and Demi's childhood. Demi and Selena are both from Texas. Demi grew up in Grapevine and Selena grew up in Grand Prix. Both were on Barney from 2002 to 2004. On set, they got along very well. They would always eat their lunch together and hang out. Oftentimes, people think that Selena and Demi were besties at age seven. And even though the two of them knew each other at that age, it wasn't until they were both 13 when they actually became friends. Before that, they just hung out at family functions because their parents and family members were friends. This is why in this interview, Selena accidentally messes up and says she's known Demi since she was 13, when in reality she knew her at 7, but only became friends with her at 13. The most talented like writers, vocalists I've, I've, ever, I've ever known. I've known her since she was 13. 7 actually, but wow. that was when she started singing like that. At this point of the video, we will summarize a little bit of behind the scenes knowledge on their pre-teen friendship. If you're interested in detailed source information, you can check out our article on them on ExposingSMG.com. But to summarize what was said, basically my sources said that Selena and Demi only became friends when Demi landed the role of Michi Torres for Disney's Camp Rock. I guess as teens, they were able to relate more to each other on the same network? I don't know. But however, sources have said that Selena wasn't all that interested in hanging out with Demi, and it would only happen because Mandy, her mom, was friends with Diana, Demi's mom. Now, you can believe whatever you want, but Demi and Selena later on proved this statement, so go fight with them, not me. What is the most inspiring thing I ever said to you? Don't be an idiot. Changed my life. Moving on to their teen years. This is where the drama starts. And you guys know, that's my favorite type of interaction. So, in 2007, Demi was on a short series called As the Bell Rings, and Selena's show Wizards of Waverly Place also premiered during that time. It's safe to say this is what made their friendship grow. In 2008, Selena and Demi were the best of friends and started even vlogging together on YouTube. All throughout 2008, they were super close. It was official that they were best friends. But here is where things start changing and get interesting. As we all know, Demi has struggled with addiction issues, depression, body image, and all of that. Having one of those things is hard enough, so I can't imagine the pain of all those issues combined and with the industry scene. The industry scene alone is a disaster. At this point, Selena and Demi start drifting apart because of their personal differences. Selena was a kid and didn't understand what Demi was going through, and quite frankly, she didn't want to. She wanted to enjoy this newfound world of fame, money, and attention. Don't get me wrong, I don't blame Selena at all for not understanding what Demi was going through. She was only 17 years old and mental health wasn't something we were aware of, especially at the time. But where Selena went wrong was just not being supportive towards what Demi was going through, even if she didn't understand it. During this time, Selena befriended Taylor Swift, or as I like to call her, Selena's master. Kidding, don't hit me. Now, there is a story that ends up happening here that involves both Selena and Taylor, and you guessed it, Demi. This story literally gets proven by Demi herself, so keep watching before you start sending me hate messages. So, this is how the story goes. Taylor, a local friend of theirs named Darren, 
Samantha Droke, and a few others were all hanging out at Selena's house. During this time, Selena was about to go on tour. Mandy, Selena's mom, comes in to ask her if she's going to invite Demi as well. Selena responded back complaining that Demi is always upset over something, and I guess she was just being a drag to hang out with. Selena then says something along the lines of, You think she'd be grateful to have this lifestyle, yet everything bothers her. She's always upset over something. Now take a breather everyone, drink some water, relax. This isn't the full story. Mandy tells Selena that Demi is going to be calling, so make up an excuse, but don't exactly tell her you don't want her around. To summarize what happens next, Demi did end up calling, and according to sources, Taylor picked up the phone and said, Sorry, Selena's a bit busy. And then their mutual friend Darren grabbed the phone and said, Selena doesn't like you anymore, and hung up while they all laughed. Selena was obviously pissed off that he said that, but she was laughing and wasn't really that bothered. If you're having a hard time imagining this, just picture a legit mean girl scenario, because that's exactly what it was. What is it? Virginia says everyone hates you because you're such a slut. She said that? You didn't hear it from me. A little harsh, Gretch. It's not that hard to believe. Teens with huge amounts of fame being bitchy to each other, it practically writes itself, especially when later on the story gets hinted. So because of this, let me walk you through their public friendship breakup. We all remember the iconic time in January 2010 when a fan asked Demi how Selena's doing and she responded back saying, ask Taylor. This obviously happened because Demi was upset that Selena left her to go hang out with Taylor and basically replaced her with Taylor. Now here's where Demi hints about being made fun of by Taylor and Selena. In June 2010, Demi was interviewed by Girls Life magazine and when asked about Selena, she said, and I quote, True friends don't let their friends or family be mean to you. She even said she can't trust Selena. Demi once again proves this narrative in another interview in July 2013, where she says, Just because you grew up with somebody doesn't mean they're your best friend. I've had situations where I've grown up with people who I thought were my best friends, then they haven't been there for me when I've been through something really difficult. People change. AKA what we said about Selena not understanding what Demi went through and then literally bailed. Now let's bullet point some stuff because I know fans are... slow? A. Taylor and Selena become closer while Demi and Selena drift apart. B. There's a hangout that happens where Selena's close friends and possibly family members were being really mean to Demi. C. Because of that call alone, they drifted even further and that's when Demi does the Ask Taylor thing in January. D. In July 2010, when asked about Selena, Demi says true friends don't let their friends or family be mean to you. Let's move on to Demi's first rehab trip. When Demi went to rehab, Selena felt such strong guilt to the point where it really affected her. Suddenly, the way she treated Demi and the way she isolated her and let others be mean to her wasn't all that funny anymore because it became clear to her that Demi was struggling more than anyone knew. And here is where Selena ends up admitting this drum roll, please. In her March 2014 issue with Seventeen magazine, Selena says she, Demi, was going through things and I was so young and it was confusing. I processed it saying, okay, I don't understand what she's going through, so I'm just going to do this. Selena then continues on saying she wasn't the most supportive friend towards Demi and that she didn't think it was fair of her to distance herself from Demi during that time. We have her story not only confirmed twice by Demi, but once by Selena. There was no bad blood between them afterwards because Demi ended up forgiving Selena for everything and once she got out of rehab in 2011, they publicly reunited again. They started being seen together more often, things were good for them for a while, but they didn't become close again. They drifted apart again in 2012 until the end of 2013. But here is where it all changes again and this change sets up their foundation for the future. According to people behind closed doors, what brought Selena and Demi closer again towards Towards the end of 2013 is when Selena started struggling with drug addiction. 2013 was a hard year for Selena and it was the start of her never-ending spiral. When Selena started struggling, Demi was there for her every step of the way because she knew what it felt like to be on the other side of things. 
Debbie didn't want Selena to go through what she did and she didn't want her to be alone. In November 2013, Demi and Selena reunited again. Things were getting really bad for Selena to the point where she even paid Demi a visit at her sober home in December 2013. This takes us to Selena's first rehab trip. Remember to keep watching till the end to see why things still didn't work out for them. Now, obviously, Selena has this need to keep up her vanilla image, so she denied that the rehab trip was for drugs and alcohol. Even though the rehab she went to specialized in drug and alcohol addiction. Specialized. I, anyway. Before Selena went to rehab, Demi made sure to see her on January 4th. Then she checked into rehab on January 5th. She was there for two weeks, and once she got out, Demi took her to dinner on January 24th, 2014. Things were really good between them again. Common shared struggles had them closer than ever. Remember the interview I mentioned where Selena admitted that she wasn't a good friend to Demi? In that same interview, Selena says that Demi is the only person who can really understand her, and that she's the only person Selena tells her deepest, darkest secrets to. When Selena went through what Demi went through and she started struggling with her mental health and drugs, she finally understood Demi and she understood how unfair it was to treat Demi badly in the past. What makes Demi and Selena officially fall out was in 2014, when Selena goes back to being a mess again, but instead of being honest about it like before, she started lying about it. During Coachella 2014, it became clear to people within their inner circles that Selena had substance abuse issues. This was when she had a feud with the Jenners and they had a, no, I don't do drugs, you do drugs media fight. Literally a mini war about who was drugged up at Coachella. Demi was so annoyed that Selena was lying to her even with all the support she showed her for her issues. So she ended up unfollowing her on Twitter and then tweeted this right after. Classic. I'm about to beat this bitch up. In August 2014, Demi was asked about why she unfollowed Selena on Twitter and she simply said, it's just one of those things where people change and grow apart. Um, okay. Obviously more than that happened. A friendship like Selena and Demi's doesn't just fizzle out because of quote unquote growing apart. At this point, Demi felt as if she did everything she could and there was nothing left to do. You can't help someone who doesn't want to get help, so she simply just stayed out of it. Their era of being civil. Moving forward, Demi and Selena stayed civil all throughout the years. At this point, they were only friends for show and because it was good for business. Sad, but it's true. And many celebrities interact with each other just for show and nothing else. Speaking of doing things just for show, they interacted again years later on July 7th, 2017. Their last appearance together was at the 2017 InStyle Awards. Demi's second rehab trip. The following year, Demi had a public OD in July 2018. Selena claims that she reached out to Demi privately, but besides that, they didn't really talk. It was kind of low in my opinion for Selena to get a source to speak on her behalf rather than saying something herself. This is what shows you the difference between Demi and Selena. Demi was present around Selena's rehab visits while Selena was at Disneyland around Demi's rehab visits. Not just once, but twice. Keep that in mind because it all adds up into the story. Their next and final fallout. In April 2020, Demi flat out says her and Selena aren't friends anymore. This shows you that their relationship was fragile for the past couple of years because it wasn't real. A large chunk of it was just for show because it was good for business. Selena and Demi's fake friendship gave the false impression that everything is okay when in reality it wasn't. Demi didn't just wake up one morning and decide not to be friends with Selena. It's been a decade of ups and downs for both of them. And if Demi didn't hold her tongue in that 2020 interview, she would have kept going and said that Selena only does things for show. She congratulated Demi at the Grammys, but where was she when Demi needed a friend to talk to in 2018? How about 2019? 
Where was she when she suffered an overdose and was in rehab? Because I sure as hell know where Demi was when Selena was in and out of rehab, and that was right by her side. Demi isn't claiming Selena publicly because she's bitter towards her. She's hurt. Demi has always been hurt by Selena, and she always wishes that Selena could be there for her the way she was. Now, to answer you guys' questions, are they feuding? No, they simply aren't friends. Hopefully now that you guys have the full story in front of you, you are able to understand exactly what happened and why everything turned out the way it did. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Did Selena do all she could for Demi? Was she a good friend to her and we just didn't see that? How would you feel if you were Selena and how would you feel if you were Demi? I want to hear your thoughts down below and tell me what else I should make a video about. Thanks and I'll see you next time.